The Kentucky Derby TVG Inside Track is brought to you by Spendthrift Farm. The 138th running of the Kentucky Derby is wide open, even for the Derby. The Breeders' Cup Juvenile run under the Twin Spires six months ago has the top five finishers all returning for America's most famous race. When you have that many horses come out of one race and win stakes races, it tells you something. Union Rags, Hanson, the more they asked, the more he gave, and Hanson won a thriller. Juvenile winner Hanson finished second last time out in the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. I was very pleased with his effort, another good performance. Uh, you know, the fractions were quicker than you would have liked, but, uh, you know, Ramon felt uh, he was doing it well within himself. Hanson's freewheeling running style is seen as a huge problem by his detractors. Dubbed the Great White Hope, Hanson has finished first or second in all six lifetime starts. But going a mile and a quarter and in a field of 20 presents Hanson with a possible nightmare. Union Rags may have come up short in the Breeders' Cup and settled for third last time out in the Florida Derby, but even in defeat, Union Rags always seems to be finding his best stride late. He got beat a length and a quarter and just didn't get out in time. A couple lengths after the wire, he was in front of everything. Hope Julian learned something about the horse there and have to go on. Gemologist is a 23rd undefeated Kentucky Derby starter and is vying to become just the eighth horse to find the winner's circle. In each of his last four starts, his speed figures continue to improve. Another plus, he's conditioned by the nation's leading trainer. Todd Pletcher, who won the run for the Roses in 2010. They're coming down to the line. It is Alpha who surges. Jamal just comes right back at him, and he has the heart to win the Moodwood Memorial. Alpha, who fought on gamely with Jamal just in the stretch, has tactical speed and could be just the horse to get Godolphin their first derby victory. Bodie Meister is trying to become the first horse in more than 100 years to win the Kentucky Derby without racing as a two-year-old. That's why with him, with a Derby Day, a lot of people I've been hearing, that, well, what's he going to do in the paddock? He doesn't get hot in the paddock. From the post parade to the gate, that's where he, he gets hot. It's all worked out. But in just his fourth and latest start with Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith aboard for the first time, Bodie Meister was the poster child for good behavior. Bodie Meister is turning the Arkansas Derby into an absolute romp. I'll have another has flourished as a three-year-old after his five-month respite from the races. He defeated the favorite creative cause by a head bob in the Santa Anita Derby. I'll have another's in front, creative cause, they hit it together, I'll have another. We went back there um, before. We took two horses that were really nice horses, but uh, I don't think we're as talented as, as this guy, and I don't think either one of them were wired mentally like this guy either. So I do feel like we're heading back there with a, a big chance of winning the thing, I really do. Creative cause is always right there. In eight lifetime starts, he's never been beaten by more than a length. Even though Creative Cause defeated Baffert's talented Colt two starts back, Mike Harrington thinks Bodie Meister will go off as the favorite. I think he's gonna be everybody's favorite going into the race which is fine with me because I don't want to be even close to the favorite. Doolahan is named after the Irish legend of the Headless Horseman. In the Bluegrass Stakes, he engulfed the field with a dramatic late flourish. Doolahan charging on the outside. Doolahan, tremendous stretch run. He was 10th with three furlongs to go. But keep in mind, in eight lifetime starts, Doolahan has only won twice, both times at Keeneland on the synthetic poly track. Daddy Longlegs captured the $2 million UAE Derby last time out. Yanksy going after Daddy Longlegs, but Daddy Longlegs found more. He's in front and he's won the Derby. Daddy Longlegs is regally bred and trained by Aiden O'Brien. That's the positive. The negative is he finished 12th at Churchill in last year's Breeders' Cup Juvenile. So the question remains, what was behind the poor finish in his lone dirt start? And that's the Kentucky Derby TVG inside track presented by Spendthrift Farm.